What's up guys? Welcome back to another fishing video. Today is going to be a little bit different than my normal kayak fishing vids. Normally, I go out here and try and catch something big, halibut, salmon, whatever. But today, I'm doing a catch and cook. And what am I catching and what am I cooking? These guys right here. And this is a live squid. You can see he's still squeaking or whatever squid do. Um, super fresh. So I'm going to make fresh squid calamari. So I'm going to jig up a few of these, take them home, drop them in the deep fryer, make some fresh calamari, and who knows, this might be my next favorite thing. All right guys, so here's the deal. The proper way to jig squid is with a actual squid jig, and I'll show you what those look like here. But today I don't have that because I wasn't really planning on doing this, not gonna lie. So I just have a normal little sabiki there, little tiny little hooks with a little flash on there to attract the squid. And uh, right now, all the squid are congregating near the bottom in 77 feet of water right here. So just drop it down to the bottom and just like any other bait fish that you would jig up just kind of give it a little little shimmy here and there and uh, one thing I've noticed with squid is unlike normal bait fish they don't they don't fight I mean it's just kind of like dead weight so as soon as you feel some weight they're on there and one thing I'll say is these are fantastic bait I and mean, if you've watched some of my other videos I've got big halibut on these exact specimens right here and uh, today we're gonna catch and cook a few of them but I will be using them as bait as well so if you're interested I got plenty of videos using these as bait oh there's one right there you can see it's not fighting at all it's just dead weight and gotta ride the long way up bada bing bada boom there he is and one thing I like to do is let him get all of the ink and everything else out outside of the kayak or boat so we went to bring him in there he is right there there you go that's fresh squid it's, you're not going to get it in the store this fresh so I'm hoping this is going to be game changer Let's see if we can get another one drop it back down now we're in 78 feet of water There's another one. Yeah, once you find the school, it's pretty much easy pickings. Like I said, this isn't even the normal squid jig that you would prefer to use, but I've caught them this way, so it works. A little bit smaller one. There we go. Interesting looking creature changes colors, shoots out black ink, got huge eyes. Look at the eyes on that thing. And they taste great. Feel that ink they're squirting out. That stuff is nasty. You don't want to get that on you. like you see in the movies those suction cups on their tentacles that's what they use to grab onto their prey and then yeah there's a little beak in there I don't know if you can see it oh yeah we got him oh oh come on squid fishing is definitely messy there's one Oh, jeez! Come on, dude. There you have it. So that's how you can jig them. Like it's. Oh my God! I think I just got ink in my face. Anyway, don't stick your face in front of them. That's how you can jig them. I know this isn't how you're normally supposed to do it. It's not a squid jig. I'm just using a normal sabiki. But hey, it works. Might not be as effective, but it's getting the job done. I'm gonna catch a few more of these to use as bait. See if there's any fish laying in the waiting out here. But I'll catch you guys back in the kitchen. We're gonna clean them up and cook them up. And I think it's gonna be pretty good. I'm pretty excited, so we'll see you there. All right guys, we're back at home. It's now the next day. I really wanted to do it the same day, just get like the optimal freshness, but 
you'll see in my next video, it's kind of a hectic day out there. So we're here on the next day and it's just gonna be just as good. I mean, it's the next day, still super fresh, fresher than you're ever gonna get in any restaurant or a supermarket. So I got all my squids here, I kept them on ice. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to clean them. So let me show you how to do that. So we got our squid here. So as you can see, there's the tentacles from the squid, the head, and then the body. This is called the mantle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the tentacles. And those are just as edible as the body. Um, honestly, I like them even better. But So to do that, we're just going to cut right behind the eye, like that. And then there's a little beak in here, which is kind of what I talked about earlier, the one that they use to catch their prey. Um, so you just got to pull that out there. And then that's that's perfectly edible. Those, those are good tentacles right there. So that's good to go. And then to do the rest of it, we're just going to pull this head from the, the rest of the body, the mantle. And then pull it out like that. So those are all the innards, the guts, the parts that you don't want. So we'll leave that aside. And then inside here, there's a little piece. So you stick your finger in there and you should be able to pull it right out. There it goes. And that's, uh, I forget what it's called, I'll leave it in the, in the video, but basically like, it's almost like plastic. It's kind of like their bone structure. They don't have any bones, so that's what they use to kind of hold their shape. And then once you have that, just kind of squeeze out here. There's sometimes there's a few more guts in there. Yeah, we'll take that out. Um, a few more stuff in there. Get all that stuff out. But once you have that, I mean, that's pretty much good to go. And for the calamari that we're making today, we're gonna cut this into rings. So I'm just gonna cut here, 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 and here. Now, even if you don't catch your own squid, um, you could buy them in the store whole, get them a lot cheaper, and then cook, clean them yourself and cook them. Uh, I'll save you some money. Super easy to clean, just kind of have to know what you're looking for. Make sure you take out all these like plasticky parts, like the beak and then the, the plastic on the inside here. That's what you want it to look like at the end. Perfect little ring for calamari. We're gonna soak them in buttermilk. It's just buttermilk straight from Safeway. We're just gonna soak them in this for about half an hour um, and then they'll be good to go. So there you have it, we've got all our calamari in here and we're just gonna cover this and put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes so I'll catch you back in the kitchen. As you can see, we got our hot oil there using peanut oil because you can cook at a higher temperature with peanut oil. I'm trying to get it to 375. We've got some other stuff going on in the background as well, but those are kind of side dishes to the main event which is the calamari. So it's been sitting in the fridge for over 30 minutes now. So I'm gonna take it out, we're gonna batter it and then we're gonna deep fry it in this oil right here. All right, so we've got our batter here. This is just flour with salt, paprika, pepper, and garlic powder. And uh, this is gonna be the thing that we're dipping our uh, calamari in. So if we pop this open, there is the squid, nice and marinated in that buttermilk. And all we're gonna do is just take it straight from here and just throw them in. Okay, so now I got them all in here. And all we're just now, make sure you seal it good. Shake it up, get that batter nice and evenly distributed all over the fit, or sorry, not fish, calamari. All right, nice and good. Now we're gonna take it over here. So you can see our oil here, nice and hot, and we're just gonna toss them in. One by one. Seven tentacles. And the reason I'm putting them in one by one is so that they don't stick together too much. You might get some sticking, but this should help a little bit. So these aren't gonna take very long. They're gonna be here for probably like three to five minutes about. 
I mean, the peas are pretty small. The oil's super hot, so you don't want to overcook it and leave it in too long because then it'll get rubbery. Um, so we'll check back in eh, three to four minutes, and I think it should be good. Four minutes now, and these are looking pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and take them off and uh, just kind of drain out as much fat or much oil as I can. And then I'm putting them on this paper towel uh, this plate. Oh, gee. Putting them on this, pa this plate with a paper towel to uh, soak up any of the excess oil that's still on there. But yeah, these are smelling good. All right, and there we go. There's the finished product. Super, super crispy calamari with a little bit of pasta uh, and of course a lemon to go with it. I'm actually super happy how this turned out. Like I said, I've never actually done this before, so for a first time, I think it actually turned out pretty nicely. I'm just gonna dribble, drizzle some of this lemon over it. Get the pasta. Actually, you know what? Let's just go straight, straight calamari first. Yeah. That actually turned out really good. If you put this next to like a calamari you had in the restaurant, pretty sure this would be on the on the winning side. I think if I had to make one one change, the next time I make this, I'll make sure to drain them a little better after soaking them in the buttermilk because. I think there was a little bit too much buttermilk still on the squid. So when I put them in the batter, it stuck to a lot, there's like a lot of batter. The batter, the coating on here is pretty thick. So that'd be the one change I would do. But still really good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Here's the last piece, it's the tentacles. I don't know, for some reason, some people get freaked out with the tentacles. They're like, I think it's a mental thing. But I can assure you, they taste just the same as any other piece of the squid. Last piece, going down. Mm. Well, I can see now why some people go out there specifically just for the squid. I was kind of shocked, but when I was out there, you know, catching them. There was other people who had kayaked all the way out there just to catch the squid. They weren't going to go fishing, you know, for halibut or anything else. Just strictly squid. And I was kind of shocked at the time, but now, after eating it, I think I could see why. All the way from the ocean, to jigging them up, to taking them in my kayak, to bringing them home, cleaning them, cooking them, and finally, the best part, eating them. This is a fun episode for sure. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, like I said, this is the first time I've ever cooked squid personally on my own. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. But thank you guys for watching and hope you guys are staying safe. And until the next episode, we'll see you next time.